All right, we're here today and we're doing some treasure hunting. I'm at an undisclosed location and we also know that there's a couple cameras and some sunglasses at the bottom of this pit. So, uh, hey kids, you wanna do some treasure hunting? Let's go do it. Okay, we're doing a little uh, run through of the gear here. Uh, the first piece uh, being the, uh, the air tanks. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Uh, so we've built a claw and it's, uh, it's powered by air power. Uh, Rinell, you wanna just pick up the claw there? So uh, you can see the claw, it works with an air cylinder and uh, maybe open up the claw there. Oh yeah, okay. So uh, we also got two air tanks to power the claw. We have a 50 foot umbilical cord mm -hmm. and about 38 feet of pole. And the plan here is to extract some treasure from over the cliff here into the depths. Okay, so we got the the claw all set up here again and uh you can really see how it works now. I'll get Brent to open the claw there. Oh yeah. See we got our uh, waterproof flashlight, our GoPro, and then also we have an underwater camera. Uh, that's tethered up the umbilical. All the way to Brent over here where he's got his screen. And if you close the claw there, I don't know if you'll see that on the screen, but that's how we're gonna get our underwater action. And it's all controlled by this air control valve running off a propane tank full of air at 100 PSI. And that seems to last for quite a while. So uh, we're gonna put two men down there, two men up here, and we're gonna see what we can get here. All right. Okay, we're hot. So what are we gonna pass it to? Is that? <laughs> Are you in a spot there that's any damn good, or I don't know. Well, you think it's good? It's almost like from right here with the long poles, you could just. Well, I'll give it a shot. Are you scared from there? Okay, well let's try it. Let's give it a try. Okay, we're passing the claw. Yeah, you should have safety gear. No. Safety is for pussy. Safety is for, yeah. Okay, don't, just try not don't to. drop the pole. Watch the tip, watch the cameras there. Yeah. Okay, we're going in the water. Probably too short. You're good? Okay, gentle. Did you turn on the light? No. <laughs> Pull, turn the light on. <laughs> There you go. Good enough. I think it's just for looks anyways. Okay. You guys got it? We're up at the control center here. We're going to open the uh, open the claw. I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the video. Is that it right there? Uh, that's the camera though. Right there. Is it? No, I think it's just a... Uh, What's too short? The pole? Yeah. The pole's too short? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get you another section then. Hold on. I don't know if they, go, I don't know if they can see this. Or... Yeah. Nothing there. No. It's clean. Ooh, it goes real deep there.
Well, unfortunately, although the project was a success, the only thing I did was lost my sunglasses and recovered a few other little objects. But really, I think in the end, the claw was a success. And I think we got to go do another crack at it. Probably be in episode two of this one. In the end, our camera ended up failing to look down into the bottom. And that was it. It's kind of like a normal episode of a treasure hunt that you would see on TV. Anyway, special thanks to all the crew that helped me out. And it was quite the adventure and a great day out on the water. There's got to be something down there. There's just got to be.